Hi guys, welcome back to WhatsApp 4.0 with me, Aishana Zaini. So I want you guys to stay with me until the end of my video for me to share my experience at boarding school when I was 16 until 18 years old. So guys, when we talk about boarding school, what are the first things that come to your mind? So for myself, the first thing that comes to my mind when I decide to pursue my high school journey in a boarding school I doubt myself. I feel like, can I do this? The journey has started. So after finish PD3, I pursue my high school journey at Sekolah Menengah Teknik Johor Bahru or we call as the IGB. And my experience in the IGB is so wonderful. I have so many bittersweet memories out there and I'm here to share with you guys what kind of experience that I had in there. When I firstly get in there, I didn't know anyone. A lot of unfamiliar faces I have faced. I think like, can I make friends with them? I didn't want to be friends with me. Also, this school, the AJB, only had two batch for Form 4 and Form 5. So basically, we have that junior and senior tradition at that school. I know it's ridiculous, but it is normal things in a boarding school you know actually from being a someone that doesn't take her academic performance really heavily when i go in that school a lot of things changes my friends are so smart they learn day until midnight they always fulfill their prep session with knowledge they always read they always learn and everything so when i see all those people doing that around me i feel like I want to be like them. I don't want to leave behind. All I can say is, all those my friends that I've met in the IJB, they are all pushed me into being a better person. I am actually not kind of person that can speak confidently. So when I got in that school, I was chosen to be a prefect. The teachers asked me to be an MC for the assembly for the first time. At first, I feel so nervous, but my friends keep telling me that I can do it. And then I tried and I passed. After that, the teachers saw my potential and they asked me to be an MC over and over again, every assembly. And then they also chose me to be an MC for any special occasion that they held in my school. From this, I can see my potential. I also can build my soft skill in communication, you know. And in a boarding school, you have to keep on checking your watch make sure you didn't late for anything that the school have made you know we have our prep session we have to chasing our time to study for our curriculum and for our curriculum i have one funny story to tell you guys my friend asked me to join softball team so i was like oh maybe i can do this so the first week of training i feel like this is why i was hosting because we have to literally like round our field five times for a warm-up session i actually joined this softball team for like three weeks and then i decide to resign and tell the teachers that in charge that i can't do this anymore because i think it's really affect my study session overall i've learned in this school is friendship school because when i was in this school we literally live together with classmates I've seen them as my siblings because we have shared a lot of things together. Even though we are now has leaving this school for like two years, but when we meet up again, there is nothing feel more awkward. We are always feel like we are still 16, we are in the same school, we are in the same room. Nothing feels awkward, you know, because you already feel them special in your heart. They are already had a special place in your heart. It also made me appreciate people more in my life. Anyways, living in a boarding school is so fun and I enjoyed it very much. So to all people that watch my videos, I encourage you to go to boarding school because it is fun. I promise you. Okay. So this is all my sharing for today. Until we meet again in the next session of WhatsApp 4.0. Bye guys!